ACC Commissioner John Swafford has responded to Maryland's announced exit. That's coming up, but first, the ACC Championship game is set. It's Monday, November 19th. I'm Kelly Nash, and this is your ACC Now. With Miami bowing out of postseason play, Georgia Tech automatically claims a spot in the ACC championship game, which will pit the Yellow Jackets against Florida State. They will face each other for the first time in the ACC title game. This is also their first meeting since 2009, a game Tech won 49-44 in Tallahassee. The Yellow Jackets got word this morning they clinched the Coastal Division by default as University of Miami officials announced they will again voluntarily refuse a postseason bowl invitation while an NCAA investigation continues. After a win over South Florida on Saturday, the Hurricanes improved to 6-5 and five to become bowl eligible. Miami could have qualified for the ACC championship game with a win this week over Duke. The University of Maryland is leaving the ACC for the Big Ten starting in the 2014-15 school year. Maryland was an ACC charter member back in 1953. ACC Commissioner John Swafford releasing this statement. Our best wishes are extended to all of the people associated with the University of Maryland. Since our inception, they have been an outstanding member of our conference and we are sorry to see them exit. For the past 60 years, the Atlantic Coast Conference has exhibited leadership in academics and athletics. This is our foundation and we look forward to building on it as we move forward. Meanwhile, your ACC Players of the Week are highlighted by your Offensive Back of the Week, none other than Taj Boyd, who went off on NC State. Boyd had an ACC record eight touchdowns, five passing and three rushing that led the number 11 Tigers over the pack. Boyd couldn't have done it without solid protection from his fifth-year center, Dalton Freeman, your Offensive Lineman of the Week. NC State did put up 48 points on Clemson, though, with a big day from your Receiver of the Week, Tobias Palmer, who set an ACC and NC State record with 496 all-purpose yards. And your Rookie of the Week, UNC's Quinshaw Davis, led the Heels to a win over Virginia with 16 catches, tying the ACC record for all players and breaking Carolina's school record of nine. Now it's time for your ACC closing number seven, as in seven current and future ACC schools left in the men's and women's NCAA soccer championships. The Maryland, North Carolina and future ACC member Syracuse men's soccer squads have all advanced to the third round while Duke, North Carolina, Florida State and future member Notre Dame make up half of the women's quarterfinals. I'm Kelly Nash and that'll do it for your ACC Now.